Today we're going to demonstrate the PMS acupuncture treatment and Jessica is going to be our demo today. Basically she's, she is actually having PMS. She is having a little bit of jitteriness but at the same time she feels like fatigue and unable to do things. And so we listen to the symptoms first and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tongue and pulse. So I'm going to feel on both sides of the pulse in three different positions. This left hand side is her yin side. It tells me how her blood is doing and also how her liver, her heart, and her kidney yin is doing. And I can feel a little bit of tension going on here, which tells me that the liver is not happy. I'm going to come over to this side here. Same thing, I'm going to feel three different positions here. This is her chi side, so it's going to tell me how her spleen and stomach are doing, how her lungs are doing, and how her kidney yang is doing. And it's actually, it's tense here too, but it's weaker on the left hand side which also tells me that she's more blood deficient. I'm going to have you stick your tongue out for me, please. And you can see how it's pointed like that. That tells me there's a red tip. Red tip has to do, put your tongue out again. The red tip has to do with heart fire, so some stress, some emotional stuff going on, and the pointed quality tells me that the liver, again, is unbalanced. So we definitely want to focus on the liver today. During We're going to use disposable needles today. They're very, very tiny take a look here. Basically they're inserted with a tube and then there's this little tiny needle that's like a hair to go in so it really is not painful. Part of Jessica's treatment because she, her liver is, is the primary issue um, we're going to do two points as part of her treatment. It's not going to be the complete treatment but we're going to do spleen 6 which crosses the spleen, kidney, and liver channels and that's going to help to tonify her, to give her some, some calmness. And then we're going to do liver 5, which is really going to help clear some of that heat out. So we're first going to do spleen 6. So I'm going to come over here and locate the point. Swap it with alcohol. I'm going to get my needle out here. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And down. And then I'm going to come over to the other side. And I'm going to do liver 5. points combined are going to have a nice, relaxing, balancing effect on the body. Because a lot of times with PMS, there's also some upper back and neck tension, we're going to do, I'm going to have Jessica smell some peppermint oil, just to kind of open everything up, relax the tension, and I'm going to do some cupping on this area to really release all of this tension. So we're going to do fire cupping. You can see she's getting pretty red here. That tells me that there's definitely some heat and inflammation going on. And this instantly will relax these tight muscles. down here to the low back is going to help with any kind of cramping or low back tension that ha tends to happen also. And after cupping, we do a hot towel compression.
this tension, especially on the upper back here, has definitely to do with the liver energy again. So women who tend to have an imbalance with the liver are going to be more prone to neck pain and shoulder tension and also irritability and moodiness during their menstruation.